Hello, I'm Craig Hill with Family Foundations International. And we have found that there is a critical thing that seems to be missing from many people's lives today and missing from many families. You know, when we look in Scripture, in the Bible, we find that there is always an impartation of blessing from one generation to the next, to the next, to the next. And this impartation of a father's blessing does something in the hearts of sons and daughters. It establishes a very powerful sense of identity, a very powerful sense of destiny. And we find in our society today that many, many people lack a strong sense of identity. What do I mean by identity? Simply the answer to the question, who am I? Who is this me inside that I have to live with every single day? And destiny is the answer to the question, why am I here? What's my purpose? Do I have a purpose? Or am I just taking up air, food, and water on a planet for a certain number of years and then I die? Many people feel that way and they actually spend a lifetime searching for answers to those questions. You know, I find that uh, in, in the ancient Hebrew society that we find in the Bible, very few people struggled with those questions, who am I and why am I here? And the reason that is, is there was a powerful impartation that came from God that came through a father, through a mother, touched the hearts of sons and daughters, and settled those questions, who am I and why am I here? And as a result of that, people could live in their adult life out of a secure sense of value, a secure sense of, I know I'm loved, I know I'm valuable, I know I'm, I'm supposed to be here, I know I have a purpose, I know I'm unique, there's something that only I can do on this planet that nobody else can do because God put me here with a purpose. And uh, we find that, that people who have received an impartation of blessing from parents uh, that way have a settled sense of identity and destiny. Actually, as I sought out the, the answers to why is it that we have so many people that are spending a lifetime searching for purpose, searching for identity, I, I really came up upon the answer being primarily lack of impartation of blessing, particularly from a father. You know, it's interesting, many of us know the scripture from Malachi chapter 4, verse 6, that says, I will turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the children to the fathers, lest I come and smite the land with a curse. I will send Elijah the prophet in those days, the Bible says. And I believe we're living in that time right now. But it's interesting that he said, I will turn the hearts of the fathers to their children. It doesn't say the mothers. And I thought, well, that's interesting. Why would that be? And as I thought about it, you know, it's not really very hard to turn the heart of a mother to her children. That is natural. Every mother on planet Earth naturally is, is inclined toward her children. But the hearts of fathers are the ones that many times are not inclined. Fathers become very busy. They become uh, very intent on pursuing their own purpose through their career, through their position, through their money, through the things that they are doing to bring value to their own life. And consequently, many times, their hearts are not turned toward their children. And as a result of that, uh, many children in the depths of their heart feel abandoned. And as they grow up in life, there's never been an impartation that came from God through a father that said, I love you, you're valuable. As a matter of fact, one of the most powerful impartations I've ever seen uh, was when an 87-year-old father got a revelation that he had never blessed his son and actually was arranged through the grandson to invite his grandfather to come and bless his son on the son's 65th birthday. Now, that's a little late. I, I would suggest doing that a little earlier than your son's 65th birthday. But uh, the amazing thing, and it's a, it's a lengthy story, but uh, the, this 65-year-old man and his wife were actually separated at the time, and the wife had just announced the divorce. She was not wanting to return to her husband. And uh, the grandson thought, if I could just get my grandfather to come and impart blessing to my father, I think it might change something in his life. That turned out to be actually true. And on this 65th birthday, the grandfather looked his son in the eyes and, uh, and said, son, I want to tell you, I'm proud of you. And he, he could barely get the words out. He began to cry twice before he was actually able to speak. And finally, he was able to look his son in the eyes and say, son, I love you. I'm proud of you. You have three children. All three of your children are serving the Lord Jesus Christ. All your grandchildren, my great-grandchildren, all know the Lord Jesus Christ. 
What greater legacy could a man ever ask for? Son, I'm proud of you. You're a success in my sight. And then he said something that nobody expected because nobody knew that when uh, this son was 15 years old, he and his father had gotten in a huge argument and uh, they'd actually had a physical fist fight. And his father kicked him out of the house and said, get out of here. I hope I never see you again. I hate you. And said terrible things to the son. And the son, of course, reciprocated and said terrible things he didn't mean to his father. They had reconciled their relationship, but they had never spoken of this event. And here on the, this son's 65th birthday, 50 years later, the father said, son, do you remember when you were 15? And something from deep inside that son welled up and just began to come out. And he began to weep from deep inside. You know what? <laughs> from way down inside, 50 years of bitterness, pain, anguish, resentment, hatred, and pouring out and pouring out and pouring out. He fell into his father's arms. His father just wrapped his arms around him. And all he could say was, son, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. I love you. And something broke in that son that day. And God used that father to impart something into the heart of the son. I love you. There's nothing wrong with you. You're valuable. And that father blessed his son. And uh, the man that I knew was the grandson. And, he, and the grandson later told me, you know, after that happened for my father that day, something changed. He said, before that time when I looked in my father's eyes, even though he was 64 years old, I saw a scared little boy looking for value, looking for purpose. He said, when his father, my grandfather, blessed him that day, something changed. And he said, there was an impartation that came from God through the spirit of my grandfather and imparted something to my father, he said. And you know, he said, after that time of blessing from his father on his 65th birthday, when I looked in my dad's eyes for the very first time, I saw a confident man looking back at me. And you know, his life changed so much. My friend said, two weeks later, his wife moved back home. She said, I don't want to divorce him. This is the man I thought I married 45 years ago. But for 45 years, I've been trying to follow an angry little boy who doesn't know where he's going. Do you know how hard it is to follow somebody who doesn't know where he's going? Now, finally, this is the man I thought I married. I love him. I don't want to divorce him. I want to live with him. They spent the rest of their, their years ministering to other marriages, ministering to other people, and, uh, and imparting to others what they had received. You know, maybe as you're listening to me today, you never received an impartation of blessing from your father. I'd like to pray that for you. You know, for many of us, it wasn't because our fathers were evil. It wasn't because our father intentionally wanted to wound us. But many times it was simply because our father was unavailable. For some of us, perhaps your father died when you were young, so he simply wasn't there. Perhaps there was a divorce in your family, and you grew up with your mother. Your father simply wasn't there. There was no way he could bless you. Or perhaps you're one of those whose father was there, but he was silent. Or perhaps he had so many problems, so much pain in his own life, that all you received was anger and wrath. Maybe all he ever told you are the things that you did wrong. He never told you what you did right. And so when you think back about your own growing up years with your dad, there's a longing in your own heart. I wish my dad would have said those words to me. I wish my dad would have said, I love you. I'm proud of you. But he never did. And you know, your heavenly father may, may not be in the room where you are right now. Pardon me, your earthly father may not be in the room where you are, but your heavenly father is right there with you. And I believe he has many things he wants to say to you. And I would like to just pray a blessing over you. And as you listen to my words, I want you to not just hear my words, but I want you to open your heart right now and listen to your heavenly father. Do you know that your father in heaven 
wanted to say things through your natural father. But as, as, it, as it is for many of us, perhaps that particular pipeline was blocked. And your father was not able to be that conduit of blessing from your heavenly father. But I want you to listen to these words today. And I want you to receive what your heavenly father says about you. So I'd like to pray for you right now. Father, I pray for your son. I, I'm going to pray, if you're a son, I want to pray separately for a son and then a daughter. So if you're a son, you listen to these words. Father, I pray right now for your son. Father, I thank you for, the, for that son. I want you to know this day, you're not a little boy. You're not foolish. There's nothing wrong with you. You're a man. You're a man of God. You're a man of virtue. You're a man of wisdom. You're a man of integrity. God chose you and put you on this planet. Maybe your parents didn't expect you, but God planned for you for thousands of years and put you on this planet at just the right time. Son, there's a gifting and an anointing on your life that nobody else has. You're absolutely unique. And this day I declare over you, you're loved, you're blessed. Your heavenly Father says, my son, my son, I love you. I bless you. And you can expect to prosper in all you do. Because you're inextricably connected by covenant to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob if you have received the Lord Jesus Christ and committed your life to him, the favor of God is on your life. And this day I bless you and I declare over you, may you be blessed when you go out, may you be blessed when you come in. May your business be blessed, may your ministry be blessed, may your marriage be blessed, may your children be blessed. May your health be blessed, may everything you set your hand to be blessed. In the name of Jesus. And if you're a daughter, I declare over you, my daughter. Your father says, my daughter, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. Not only on the outside, on the inside. Nothing wrong with you. I created you. Again, perhaps your parents weren't expecting you, but God, your father says, even though your mother only carried you for nine months in her womb, I carried you for Thousands of years in my spirit. I love you. Just the right time I put you on this earth. And your father said, you're a woman of virtue. You're a beautiful woman. You're a woman of integrity. You're a woman of honor. And your heavenly father says, nothing that was done to you by any man is a statement about who you are. Your father said, you are who I say you are. Perhaps men sinned against you. Perhaps somebody hurt you very deeply. But your heavenly Father says, it does not change who you are. You're my daughter. You're not spoiled. You're not ruined. Nothing wrong with you. You're my daughter. I love you. This day, I pray blessing over you. And I declare over you that if you have accepted the Lord Jesus Christ, you are inextricably connected by covenant to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and because of that, you can expect your life to be blessed. You can expect your marriage to be blessed. Your marriage shall be blessed, and your children shall be blessed. Your grandchildren shall be blessed to a thousand generations. May you be blessed when you go out. When you may, may you be blessed when you come in. May your bedroom be blessed, your kitchen be blessed. May the work of your hands be blessed. May everything you set your hand to be blessed. I declare blessing over your physical health, over your finances, and over your relationships. I declare over you this day, you're not a little girl anymore. You're a grown woman, a woman of God, blessed by your Father. And I declare over you this day, your Heavenly Father says, I love you. You're my daughter. I bless you this day in Jesus' name. Now, I encourage you, when this video finishes, would you just close your eyes and you take just a couple more minutes to ask your Heavenly Father, Father, what else would you like to speak directly to me? Who am I in your sight? What do you say about me? And allow Him to to speak to you directly. The Bible says we're his sheep, we hear his voice. That's true.
You can hear from your Heavenly Father directly. Just listen to Him. We have a lot of materials and more information on receiving blessing and giving blessing on our website, familyfoundations.com. I encourage you to go to that website. Again, it's familyfoundations.com. And especially, there's a process that God gave us to lead people through healing on the inside from lack of blessing and receiving an impartation of blessing. We call that seminar The Ancient Paths. And there's another one called Blessing Generations. Please jump on our website and have a look at where there might be a Blessing Generation seminar or an Ancient Path seminar coming up near you. Again, the website is familyfoundations.com. And uh, please just take just a couple minutes right now as this finishes to close your eyes and ask the Father one simple question. Who am I in your sight? What do you say about me? God bless you.